In today's video, we are going to make a solid wood ukulele on the Benchtop Standard CNC Machine from CNC Router Parts. You can download the source files from our project listing using the button or the link in the video description. Let's begin by sourcing parts for our ukulele, beginning with the tuning machines. These can be standard guitar ukulele tuners. Next, I'll look for the nut and saddle. I've found the black colored set to have the best play height for this ukulele. Next, let's find the fretboard. I've included the fretboard geometry that I use to make my own, uh, but for the time, I'd probably recommend just buying one. And then let's look for a bridge. And let's find some strings. And actually, this is a good time to segue and talk a little bit about the different types of ukulele. There are four types of ukuleles. The soprano or standard, concert, tenor, and baritone. We're going to be building the soprano or standard version. And while I'm here, I'll grab a tuner. Let's see how we're doing price-wise. Removing the clip tuner for a moment. We're at $32. And I'm realizing I'm forgetting something. Let's go get the string trees. We'll need these because we're essentially building a Fender style non-angled head. And after a quick trip to my local hardwood store, I have the wood stock for the body and for the neck. Adding together what I've purchased, I have a full kit. For this project, I'll add a spoil board on top of my machining table and secure it using M8 fasteners and roll-in T-nuts. There are a lot of work holding solutions that would work great for this project. I'm going to use a quick clamp system. You could also use vacuum or more likely if you're doing a one-off, maybe tape would be a good option for you. I'm starting with the main body program using a half inch flat end mill and a quarter inch depth of cut. The main body program and the neck program can be pulled from the project sources using the green button or the link in the description below. The project sources that we posted include tabs to keep this body nested within the stock even as we otherwise cut through. After removing the tabs, we're left with the body that's ready for finishing. Next, we'll make the soundboard. I've decided to make mine from 3mm ACP, or aluminum composite panel. This is a pre-finished signboard that I think will look great on the ukulele. I've taped it down and it'll just need a little bit of coaxing to come off. And our final program is the neck program. Since we'll be machining and drilling some smaller features, I'm switching back to the trusty quarter inch flat end mill tool. I can now begin finishing and assembling my ukulele. I'll glue the nut to the fretboard using a small piece of paper to set the action a bit higher. And using wood glue and wood screws, I'll attach the neck to the main body. The soundboard should be a tight fit, but I still recommend wood fasteners or glue. I'll attach the fretboard using CA glue. and I'll clamp the assembly for about 30 minutes. I'll use the tuning machines as template to mark the holes for the mounting fasteners and pre-drill the holes and mount the tuners. Well, it looks like a ukulele now. I'll finish the job by installing the bridge 
and I'll fit the saddle and install the strings. My final assembly step is to install the string trees. These will provide the downward pressure on the nut that we need given our flat fender style head design. And that's it. That's one completed ukulele made from solid wood. This one was made from basswood. I've also made some out of maple and fir. Of these, I think this basswood one is my favorite. It's very lightweight and has a nice bright crisp tone. I think the important thing is to experiment and make it your own.